well, dust off your boots and grab your cowboy hat because the McCord McCoy Pro Rodeo is in town. I might even have to dig out my old bull riding gear. Again. I don't think I've ever been to a rodeo. Really? Seriously. I'm not super well, Western. We need to talk though. to your husband. I mean, you got two chances. I like a good Western movie, You got movie, two though. chances. Hey, <laughs> you can make one at 5.30 tonight. And that's where Brooke Slyer is at in New Coin. So, Brooke, you're there now. You're giving us a sneak peek. What else do you have for us? Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, the rodeo hasn't even started yet, and I'm already having a blast so far this morning. You know, we got to see some of the bulls. We got to see some of the steer, but now it's all about the horses. And joining me now this morning is Dusty Dickerson, who will be taking part in a couple of different feats. So I'm super excited. Dusty, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. Well, thank you for coming and joining us. Absolutely. I'm just so amazed. You're standing on two horses. <laughs> Not only bareback, but barefoot as well. Yes, ma'am. So go ahead and tell me a little bit about how you got started with horseback riding and you know doing some of these different feats. So I grew up in a rodeo family. We put on rodeos all over uh, Southern Illinois. We put on a lot of county fairs. I grew up carrying the American flag and barrel racing. Not a great barrel racer, mind you, but I was also a competitive gymnast. So my family took a family vacation. We saw a dinner show in Branson, Missouri, where I saw Roman riding and trick riding for the first time. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that is for me. So we went home and my dad had a couple really great pickup horses. And he said, uh, typically, ro traditionally Roman riding, you see they have Roman pads and shoes so it's interesting you brought up the bareback yeah. barefoot and um, but we did, had no idea where to get any of that and he said well if you want to do it bad enough you'll figure out a way so I took off the pet I took off the saddles and shucked the shoes and away I went and here we are 24 years later living that dream so tell me a little bit about the horses that you're on right now favorite subject yes. favorite question this is Remy she's an eight-year-old blue roan mare um, I've had her about five years she's vital part of everything I do. And then this is my golden child. This is Dash. I've had him 11 years. There's nothing this guy won't do. He is rock solid from giving three-year-olds lessons to jumping fire out here. I mean, usually horses kind of get a little nervous standing this close to each other. So they are some good horses. I'm going to step out of the way so we can see you in action. Absolutely. And of course, this is just a sneak peek of what will be happening at the rodeo. It kicks off tonight. Gates open at 530. The action starts at 7. The same goes for tomorrow night. And coming up, we'll be talking to a bull rider. But for now, back to you in the studio. Nick, can you do that? Well, I've, I've heard you sing. I've heard you sing country. I think I could stand on a horse, but I don't know if I'd stay <laughs> up on it. Uh, I can't do that. No, by any means. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. Actually, that sounds like a great time coming it up does. this weekend. Uh, for those maybe trying to find something